It's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. Ryzen 2, a 2000 series plus, whatever you want to call AMD's newest Ryzen CPUs, seem to have been leaked. We now know everything. M maybe. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to Gamer Melt. Before I get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for all things gaming hardware news and reviews. Now on to said news. Originally posted by El Chapuzes and found by video cards, we have slides. Before I show you though, some believe these to be fake given a few things like typos, the wrong embargo dates, etc. But video cards has gotten confirmation from El Chapuzes that they are 100% legitimate and they have been right plenty in the past. To top it off, AMD Ryzen's UK Twitter account shared the original post. Now, they have since deleted it, and AMD contacted video cards to let them know that it was a mistake. I really don't know, though. I mean, it's, it's getting kind of hard. But now, with the fact that there are some things that are obviously wrong in the post, they might be fake. So, I really just want to let you know, but things like this can happen sometimes, especially since these aren't really meant to be out in public just yet. That, and they'll intentionally make typos to find out who's been leaking information. Just know that we don't have 100% confirmation from AMD themselves and the Twitter post did come back as saying it was a mistake, but this is probably about as close as we'll get until release. So what do we find out? Well, everything. For one, there isn't a 2800X, at least yet, which I'd say makes sense if they don't, since it seems they're simplifying the lineup a little bit with only the Ryzen 5 2600 and 2600X. But they may just be waiting to release it later, who knows? Either way, as we already know, all of the Zen Plus CPUs are based on Global Foundry's 12 nanometer FinFET design and come with some impressive clocks. As of now, the 2700X is the Ryzen 2000 series flagship processor, and like a recently leaked benchmark suggested, is an 8-core 16-thread CPU with a base clock of 3.7GHz and a boost clock of 4.35GHz. Now, that is awesome, but I do have some possible bad news given all of this is correct. Unlike the other chips which have the same TDP as their predecessor, the 2700X has a TDP of 105 watts versus the 1800X is 95. That and the base clock is only 100 megahertz more. This makes it seem like they're really having to push it to get to these clocks. That's completely fine and still impressive, but my only point is that I wouldn't expect it to get any higher with every core overclocked. Of course, we won't know until they're benchmarked, but a 350 megahertz boost from last generation at stock is not bad at all. Next up, the Ryzen 2700, like last year's chip, is an 8-core 16-thread CPU with a TDP of 65 watts, a 3.2 GHz base clock, and a 4.1 GHz boost, or 400 MHz higher than last year's 1700. Or wait, is this ultimately the successor to the 1700X? I'm, I'm not really sure. The 2600X is a 95-watt TDP 6-core 12-thread chip with a boost clock of 4.25 GHz. It has the same base clock but is 250 MHz higher than last generation when it comes to boost. Lastly, the 2600 has a boost clock of 3.9 GHz. That makes it 300 MHz higher than last year's 1600 boost and a 200 MHz higher frequency than base. When it comes to the pricing of these chips, it's pretty clear AMD isn't playing around, as AMD is neck and neck with Intel's opposing chip, undercutting them here and there along the way. Don't forget that you're either getting more cores and threads or more threads. This leads to AMD's claim that Ryzen 2700X has 5.5% higher frame rates to the 1800X and has 7.7% less frames than the 8700K. Now, some believe that this proves it's fake, but AMD actually did this with last generation's processors. They admitted that they're slightly slower than Intel's chips when it comes to gaming, which lends them more credit when they explain how much better they are at more multi-threaded workloads. They did it last year, and if this is correct, are doing it this year. And 7.7% difference at 1080p with a 1080 isn't bad at all. Of course, that would mean that for those who want to purely game and nothing else, Intel will still be the go-to chip, unless games begin utilizing more threads, of course. One thing that's interesting is that AMD officially supports higher memory frequencies without it being considered an overclock. This time, it's up to 2933, which is great for lower latency communication over the Infinity Fabric. Next, let's go over the new Precision Boost, and it might look a little confusing because it kind of is. XFR2 Enhanced seems to be supported on both the 300 and 400 series motherboards, yet Precision Boost Overdrive is just for the 400 series and X variant CPUs. 
XFR2 is supported by the non-X variant 2000 series CPUs, while XFR2 Enhanced is only on the X model CPUs. All still allow overclocking as well. Now, back to motherboards. It looks like all AM4 motherboards will support Ryzen's 2000 series by the middle of March. That's the good news. Now I've got some bad news. It looks like the X470 will be releasing first with the B450 coming later this year, and no sign as of yet for the A420. That doesn't mean it won't exist, but it does seem AMD suggests that you use their current 300 series while you wait. The 400 boards are boasted to have optimized overclocking capability, better memory support, lower idling power, bootable NVMe RAID support, and more. Their board partners are set to launch 21 X470 boards on the April 19th release date, so you should at least have some decent choices between them. While that does it for today, now I want to hear what you think. Are you excited for AMD's next Ryzen series if this does end up being correct? Want to get a new board or just pumped you've already got your 300 series board? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, have a great day.